So um, this was a cohort of patients that were enrolled in the Excel um, phase two study um, with Insartneb. And what we found for the 76 patients that were enrolled, we looked at a panel that was developed in collaboration with Royal Solution Bio, um, looking at genomic alterations that are commonly occur in lung cancer patients. And so remembering that patients had to be ALK positive via FISH to enroll of st on study. So of the 76 patients that were enrolled on study, 56 patients had genomic alterations that were detected by NGS. And of those patients, the majority, 80% of them, were ALK rearrangements with different variants. What we found when we looked at the concordance between tissue and plasma was that 80 there was about 90% concordance between tissue and plasma in the 22 patients that had both tissue and plasma that we could look at. What we also found importantly was that five of the patients who were considered ALK positive via fish in tissue were actually negative via their plasma NGS. And of those five patients, four responded to insartinib, suggesting that NGS might actually miss 20% of patients who are actually ALK positive. When we looked at response rates, we found different responses, not by uh, plasma NGS because overall response rate was in the 70% range, but there were different responses by variants. So patients with variant 1 had a higher response and better progression-free survival than what we'd see with patients with variant 3.